Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woken, I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Today I'm going to be going over the JP side of the game because they just finally released info on, and they just actually released, the event for learning with manga. So I'm going to go over all the units coming over, specifically because I want to talk about them and it's going to be two years for the actual event itself. Um, let me see. It looks like it's a points rewards kind of thing, so good luck with that one. Uh, I don't play JP, so I'm not going to have to worry about this for another two years. <laughs> but I did want to talk about it because, oh my god, I was freaking the hell out. So that's going to be today's video. Hope you like it. Until next time. I'll see you guys next time. What the fuck? Sorry, I just, I just literally woke up. I could not record this last night because I was so tired from work. But anyway, I'm going to record this now. Also, I didn't want to wake up anybody. Uh, leave a like, comment, and tell, down, subscribe, do all that good stuff. So today, what is coming in? So what is Learning With Manga? If you don't know, Learning With Manga is the excellent manga that's about learning the game. That is very bad at teaching you the game. Actively terrible, I think. But... Uh, there's a bunch of servants related to it, um, a bunch of Udon servants. Uh, the only one we had previously was Bunyan, but now thanks to this event we have Super Bunyan, Daiki Koten, and Mary Anning, and also for Super Bunyan, which I'll show right here, Super Bunyan in her later stages, spoilers if you don't want to see this, Super Bunyan also has um, with her J. Edgar Hoover, Hoover which is what assass Rio Assassin is supposed to be. Or assassin of learning, depending on how you wanted to pronounce it. And George Millier, aka the director of uh, A Trip to the Moon and a lot of other very influential and ancient silent movies, hates Thomas Edison as much as anyone else. And they are in Super Bunyan. They don't actually have their own servant, which is kind of a bummer for a lot of people who just wanted them their own. But as someone who absolutely loves learning with manga and Bunyan in general, I think this is a great callback to the one comic where <laughs> uh, both, uh, I believe it was actually Caster, who is Daikikoden's plan to get into Fago was to be so associated with Bunyan that eventually they would get in. And they've done it. The crazy bastards actually did it. It was the ultimate callback. And that I think that comic is over at least a year old, so they must have known then when the collab was starting just to let you know i guess how far in advance they plan shit out but this is fantastic this is actually a, tr a three and one so the sprite actually changes they're in the background they help with a bunch of the animations they're in the np great what does super bunion actually do as you can see there's an all day or an alter ego uh it's first skill which i believe was called presidential something let me see if i can find the the translation for it because the translated um, skill name is very good because it's actually a reference to the manga and learning with manga and what happens inside it. Let me see if I can quickly find Super Bunyan skills. Okay, the name is Presidential Directive C. Increases attack for self for like 20%, 30%. Three turns and increases Buster performance for three turns. As you can see here, it's 30% attack up, Buster 20% up. Vision Quest A charges own uh, charges, charges own NP gauge overcharges party's NP by one stage for one turn. This is the entire party's. It's only for one turn, but okay. Thirty percent NP <laughs> at level ten seals all enemies NP for one turn. Reduce their critical attack chance for three turns. Increase party's but crit, crit star absorption for Buster cards for three turns. Crit chance is thirty percent. Five hundred percent Buster absorption up. Uh, and also their kit is obviously three buster, uh, one arts, one quick, and then it has to be a buster NP because she is a 100% buster unit. Um, it's the only thing that makes sense. Passive skills. Magic resistance C. Increases on debuff resistance by 15%. Item construction C. Increases on debuff success rate by 6%. Power of like EX. Grant self on attack activated buff. Grants self like buff for three turns when attacking. Like enable extra damage when super bunion MP. Grant self on defense active buff. Grant self like buff for three turns when taking attack, which is a reference to um, in the manga. Uh, President Bunyan is powered. She gets stronger for power. I think it was like positive social media interactions or something like that. She's the president, and then. She gets blocked by Ma uh, Mash blocks her at some no she blocks Mash at some point for trying to get her to do better as a president and stuff. It's crazy. 
This is her Noble Phantasm, which we don't have the name of right now. The Anti-Army deals damage to one enemy, deals 100% uh, plus 5% and extra damage to enemies. Um, N equals own like stack count max 10 stacks, damage is 600% and MP level 1, and is 1000 if you get her to 5 somehow. Reduces their defense for 3 turns, charge is 100%, minus 10% uh, defense on that one. And yeah, that's, uh, that's Super Bunyan, she's a single target attacker, and with that in kind of in mind, she has some... Uh, interesting ways to kind of hold back the enemy, like sealing their NP and reducing their crit uh, crit attack chance. Um, she buffs herself. She kind of buffs the enemy. No, she doesn't buff the enemy. She buffs herself, and she's able to buff the the team as well in some small ways, which is nice. Um, definitely different from a most single target, like for example, Super Orion, who is very much a give me all the buff, I take it out. This one's a little bit more kind of even, kind of could in theory be a little supportish in some stuff, or if you wanted to go full on attack buster, I'm sure she could with the right proper supports. And she is also uh, alter ego. I think she's also anti berserker. Where right, there's something anti berserker. Yeah, she has it in her append where it kind of feels like, okay, you want her to fight a berserker, chances are. Uh, yeah, yes, there we go. I like her a whole bunch. I think she's amazing. Her NP, which is absolutely amazing. Let me see if I can show it here, because it's always funky when I try it. Let me pause. Okay, yes, I can show it. So, fantastic NP on that one. <laughs> absolutely great. Loved it. Love this unit. I can't wait to summon for her in two years. Probably for a lot of people, probably not a, um, doesn't seem, at least based off of what I can see. I'm hoping to see some more from the uh, JP side, uh, her in actual use. She just seems extremely solid to me and very good. So I love it. Thank you very much. And that's Super Bunyan. And then for the actual free unit, we have Mary Anning, who is a free, who is technically a one-star servant, who you just get her from the friend point, so make sure to save it up by then. This is Mary Anning, uh, the Lancer of Learning. Uh, she increases the attack of female or unknown gender allies for three turns, increases the arts performance for female or unknown gender allies for three turns, increases the MP generation rate for female or unknown gender, uh, gender allies by 10% for three turns. It's 15% at level 10 for both sides. And let me see, she is a two arts, one quick, and two buster, and I assume her noble phantasm is arts. Okay. Very, for a one star, I really like NP generation on skills, so this is nice. It is specifically only to females, <laughs> which is a good, I think, reference to. I'm not sure if Mary Annie was super into ladies, but I'm going to assume she is. In the Learning with Manga, she absolutely loves Saber. Um in all forms so that would make sense to me at least so she's down with them it's kind of like the uh, it's kind of like blackbeard skill <laughs> except for it's actually on a woman second skill uh gain crit stars deals 500 damage to self without killing 30 crit stars it's not bad um not the best because of course mozart has the best uh ce bomb in a skill but she is a one star uh, yeah, Mozart's a two star so whatever reduces all enemies NP gauge by one charges party's NP gauge by 10% increases party crit damage for three turns 30% crit mm, it's not bad and her noble phantasm is anti-army deals damage to all enemies inflicts buff block for one turn three turns 450% uh, how many hits four hits not bad increases own arts performance for one turn so, okay, sounds pretty alright to me. For a one-star unit, she seems like she actually has a pretty fun kit. I would like to use her, like, the first skill alone for giving it a... For being so specific to women, and also giving some MP generation, and that third skill, it's not much, but 10% MP gauge is nice for um, certain builds. Um, not every single build needs the absolute best, and to be honest, with Castoria around... Any form of support is usually pretty good, so I'll kind of take it as that, and I think it's pretty fun that she's built this way. I'm kind of interested to use her when she comes down. She's free, so of course, feel free to get her. And yeah, let me see the stages. This is her actual classic uh, learning with manga look. This is how she looked to start. Oh no! 
There we go. Stage three, her with a giant top hat, Sam Milady on her with her dog. Fantastic. Next, the final one is Daiki Coden. The rat, the rat girls, fancy rat, nurse rat, mini rat. Uh, they have two quick, two arts, one buster, and I think it's a quick NP. That is correct. First skill, uh, meritorious service, increases on quick performance for three turns, gains crit stars for every turn for three turns, recovers parity HP every uh, turn for three turns, 30% quick at level 10, 10 star regen, and HP regen is uh, uh, 1,000? 1, yeah, HP regen, yeah. Second skill, of course, they don't have it yet because this is th th not the five star. <laughs> so let me look up what they are real quick. <laughs> okay I the, the other thing waiting I wanted to see if it would eventually get up there it is profitable profitability sentience increases NP gauge for self 20 to 30 percent 30 percent has to be at level 10 and applies NP gain per turn for all allies 10 percent at level 10 Ooh, it's not bad it's not it's not the greatest but it's not bad child country B which is her third skill let's see if they had a kingdom of children Chibiaki kingdom Grants party evasion for one attack, three turns. Increases party generation rate for three turns. 30% NP generation is not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. I like that. Let's go. For a four star? All right. It's not bad. I think Bride, uh, Nero Bride gives 30%, but she also gives 30% in NP gain. And, the, and this one only gives 10 uh, per turn uh, with second skill, so... Actually, no, applies MP gain up for all allies. Hmm. Wait a minute. MP gain per turn to get 10%. Okay, okay, okay. Territory creation E uh, increases on arts performance by 2%. Item construction D increases debuff success rate by 4%. Divinity E minus increase on damage by 95. Noble Phantasm rank A anti army reduces all enemy quick resistance by 20% for 3 turns. Deals damage to them. Increases party crit damage by 20% for 3 turns. 9 hits! That's very good. <laughs> uh, the more quicks, the better for quick. It helps with um, farming uh, for, qu uh, for quick farming at least I hope this one is pretty good at this one at that because of how many hits they have NP uh, level damage is 600% level 1 and deals extra damage to enemies of the earth attribute 150% mm, I think they could be pretty sick at farming in theory they are a little bit held back by being caster um, but I think they should still be able to do pretty well the reason I say that is because usually caster is held back because they 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 suffer an attack um, uh, attack minus because of their class. That's just the way it goes for certain classes. Assassin is the same same way where I think their attack is like 70% I think is usually the way it goes I think. compared to the 100% most servants have and then I think Berserker has 120% attack something like that. Uh, I might be completely wrong on that. Feel free to uh, correct me if I'm wrong but I thought that was something like that. Um... I kind of like them. I, I think they're very fun. I kind of am interested to see how they would do farming wise because I assume that they would be pretty good at farming. Um, pretty solid for a four, I would say. And yeah, that's the vent servants. And then there's the NPs, which are not the NPs, the CEs, which is the Ventures in the Children Kingdom, ignore invincibility, crit damage 50%, NP gain 15%, Jurassic Dream. Buster 3%, NP damage 5%, NP overcharge one stage one time. And Pleasure Hunt, Arts 2%, NP gain 3%, star one turn. Not the most groundbreaking thing, but they have some nice art to them, which is nice. And that is the event in general, in terms of the actual servants. I will be waiting a long ass time for this event. Two years, I'm going to make a video talking about my plans to wait and save. <laughs> I have to actually write it down, but guarantee this this is a rough year, man. Oh my god. And the reason that it's actually beneficial to save is that now, in theory, you can get um, stuff with uh, the pity system if you actually save up for the two years. If you save up for two years, you might actually be able to afford the extremely expensive cost if you are free to play. 
and only if you are playing uh, global. If you're playing JP based off of this year, there is no way in hell you're going to be able to get any of this. I don't know how that you would have to have the will of steel to not summon on absolutely anything that has shown up. Um, and if you are that, congratulations on that. But yeah, I'm super hype. I'm super. I can't wait for it. I can't wait. To, oh my god. Let me see if I can find the other Novant as when the others are out because it's so early that I don't think you can yet. Yeah, okay, here we go. So to kind of just show off the unit and the way when there's all three of them, I think this is just straight up, man. Man, they did so good on this. Oh, man, I can't fucking wait. They help her fight. They throw her in the air. She gets likes. She holds him down with the chainsaw. They show up in a car. <laughs> in a ball bunny in car. <laughs> I can't handle it. Until next time, everyone. I will see you guys next time. Have a good day. I know I will. Goodbye. <laughs>